Chris, nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Beautiful World War II submarine. Tell That's me all correct. about it. Well, it's a replica of a real two, type 2 two U-boat, mm -hmm. actually 2C, U-62, which was built between 38 and 40. It was a small coastal type submarine. It was used actually in a number of operational patrols and then delegated to training duties in the Baltic. Wow. And the boat itself was scuttled in 1945, in May of 45, by the crew. Oh, really? It did survive the war. I chose the boat because the insignias on the tower and uh, it's kind of unique. This is all done from photographs. The original U-boats here had wooden necks still. They did. Wow. Yeah. And was that very difficult to create? Yeah, it's a bit of a challenge for anybody that wants to take on a World War II boat. Well, I'm amongst a lot of really cool models today, but I think my daughter would really love to get into the details of this one because of the dogs on board. I saw this steamboat originally on the River Thames mm -hmm. in England, where they uh, in the summer get together and then they have these steamboat rallies. Been on the water two or three times. Mm -hmm. Built out of the original wood, which is a, a Danish fir, and then it's nailed together with copper nails. Mm -hmm. I noticed a lot of <laughs> copper nails in yeah, this boat. Which was, uh, Looks like our uh, guy is expecting somebody. Yeah, this Very uh, looks like some sort of scientific submarine. It's representative of the Alvin, which was designed back in the, actually, 64, 65. Well, the first known submersible to visit the Titanic. It's been used as a research vessel. This is a, a 1 8 scale model. The overall length of the real one is about 24 feet. So I see you have all sorts of sensors on the front. The only operational aspects of this right at the moment are the lights and the video camera. This is an actual scale representation of a real vessel which is a float in Hogsund, Norway. It belongs to the Joann's fleet. Its job is tanker escort in the North Sea. Inside, when I'll lift the top here and show you, I've got uh, a scale representation of the Voice Snyder Drive. Underneath, there's a carriage like a record player. Out of that record player are five blades that stick down. And as they come around in a circle, they each take a turn of going through a scoop cycle, a neutral cycle, and a push cycle. The drives are turning as I just meticulate where this push and scoop is coming from. I can play with it on this side of the circle or the other side of the circle. Thus, I go left and right and forward and backward. Can you do a famous under and uh, come back up like you see the with the red october move then yeah well let's see what we can do oh Okay, what are we looking at here? This is a model of a uh, Smit Nederland, which is a uh, Dutch harbor tug. It hasn't been one of my uh, primary ships. I bring it out every once in a while. I have probably 11 back home. And um, it's called an Atlantic 21, and it's built from the original factory plans. And uh, the hull itself is 132nd in supply. And you took the time even to put the seams into the uh, pontoons here where the actual canvas of the real ones yeah. are welded together. And the motor system on the back here, well, this was obviously off one of the Havico... Uh... Yeah, it's, a, it's an Aquacraft motor, just the bottom part. The top part I had to make to make it look scale like an even route because it's not a normal Aquacraft. You know, where they keep store their ropes, their oars, the anchor winch, and all the instrumentation is all scale. The gauges and stuff on the dashboard, where do you find stuff like that? The actual instruments is uh, photos that I took from a magazine, and then I reduced it on my computer.
Well, this is Lauren Scott's barge, and it looks like you've got a rail barge here and a tug to pull her. It weighs about 37 pounds, I guess, when it's uh, light, but uh, it has a bunch of holes in the bottom for water ballast, so I'm not sure what it weighs now, probably 60 or 70 pounds. And the boat pulling it is the, the gill foam? Yes, it is. Uh, the real one was owned by the GB on the stack, stands for Gilly Brothers, out of New Westminster. We hauled sand and gravel and cement. When you say we, I worked on that boat. 